So now let's go back to the index file. So back in the index. And what I want to do is for the get request that we're sending here, I'm going to go ahead and remove these curly braces because we don't really need them because we have everything on one line. And then instead of sending this message here as a JSON, we can just send our newly created response. So I'm going to delete all of this. And before we do anything, actually, we need to import it. So I'm going to come down here and then do import and we need to import the response. And then this is supposed to come from our file. So uh, same directory forward slash domain. And then we need to do forward slash response dot JS. And don't forget to put the JS extension, by the way. So now we can go back to line 13 parentheses. And then in here, we can just create a new response. So we can say new response. And then remember, we're calling the constructor. So we need to pass in some information here. So let's say we're going to send a 200 and then we're going to send the OK. So I'm going to pass in a string, which is going to be OK. And then after that, I want to pass in some message. Remember, you can see the message in here. It's highlighted. So let's say patient API and then version, uh, let's say 1.0.0. Um, I don't know. All systems go, for example. And let's see, we need to make this uppercase. So I'm going to do shift R and then do an uppercase S and that should do the trick. So you can see now this is a lot cleaner and we're going to clean it up a little bit later because right now, you know, it's very easy to, you know, make a mistake when we're passing like this 200 here or this OK. So I'm going to create another class or another uh, object and then we can just use it to make it a little bit easier to avoid making mistake and passing something that we didn't mean to pass in here. So I'm going to save all these changes and then I see a space at the very end. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this space and go to the very end and remove that space and go back to the beginning and save that again. All right, so everything looks good. We can go ahead and test this for now just so we can see what's going on. So I'm going to open a terminal again and we're already inside of the root of the application. You can see all the files are here and all I have to do is npm run start dev because we want to start the dev environment. You can see that it's running on 3000 and I'm going to go ahead and open another workspace here and then open my terminal and zoom in a little bit. And we're going to send another request. So we're going to do HTTP. So that's how we call HTTP pi. And then we're going to pass in 3000 and press enter. You can see now we have a much better response with more information uh, that tells us what's going on. You can see that we have the timestamp, we have the status code, the message, and the HTTP status. We don't have any data because the data is undefined. So we didn't pass any data. But if we wanted, we could pass some data. And I'm going to give you a quick example so that you can see how this is important. So remember, um, let me move over to this and let's go over to over here uh, on the right. So after we pass in the message, as you can see here, we can pass in the data. So in here, I can just say, for example, the data is going to be an object. And then I'm just going to say this object is going to be uh, patients. And then I'm going to put another closing open and closing curly braces. And I also need to put colon here. And then in here, I'm just going to say name. And then we're going to say junior. Just like that. So hopefully you can see this. Obviously, I just want to give you an example. And you can see on the left that the application restarted because we're using Nodemon. And then now I'm going to go back to the second word space, clear the screen, send the request again. Now you can see now we have the data and then we have the patients, which is as a name of junior. So that's just a dummy data. And this is how we're going to, you know, send responses to back to the front end. We're going to pass in all the information about the request. So it should be status, it should be status code with a timestamp. And then we're also going to give them the data. So that's just a little bit cleaner and nicer to work with in terms of creating an API. Let's go back to the first workspace. Um, I'm just going to go back to the terminal. Control C and then uh, exit out of this. All right, so everything looks good. And also, I'm gonna remove this thing because I don't really need it. So let's go over here and then just delete all this stuff because we don't really need it. All right, and save this and everything looks clean. And also, I'm noticing that I have a typo here. So let's go ahead and fix that real quick. So I'm gonna go here and then uh, put another in here and make sure this is fixed. So server running on IP address and then port. 